Hello and welcome to the assembly. My name is Jay and in this video we will be looking at how simple it is to apply dark mode to your website using only CSS and JavaScript. So what I have here is the most basic website that I could have come up with for this project and now if you want to take a look at it we can go live and run this website so that you can see what it has and we have a title and a bunch of p tags an a tag and a button and as of now this button doesn't do anything but then this is what we will be using to trigger the dark mode on and off so going to the code as you can see we have a h1 heading a p tag a list with an a tag and a button which is what I said we will be using so it's got an ID called trigger the body has an ID called content and that's pretty much it for the HTML page this is the most basic boilerplate and the content the only content that I added was adding the style sheet link which is the style sheet you can see up here and on the left side down here then I added a title which is already there but I just changed it um, and then I just updated the body so all of this within the body is what I added which I already uh, talked about and then we have a script tag all the way at the bottom which will be the JavaScript we will be using to add dark mode to our project. So the first thing that we need to do to add dark mode is have CSS and Right now, I have commented all the CSS out. As you can see, we have a class called dark. We have selection to, for when we highlight text. We have h1 for the h1 title that we have, which is dark mode over here. Um, I can show this to you side by side. And we have the p tag, which is basically both of these. Then we have the a tag which is the link and then we have a trigger which is the button and we have the list before which as you can see here a list is usually supposed to have um a bullet point or at least in my case since i'm using ul tag and not um ol so it's an ordered list and as you can see, I've already given it a styling of uh, list style none, so it doesn't really have a bullet point. If, say, I get rid of this, so save it and the bullet points back. So what I did this, uh, so why I did this is so that um, when I use uh, this over here, um, the color is the color changes and um it's more convenient when I'm using dark mode since I cannot change the color of bullet point from here uh, it's better if I have a before with a bullet point which is the content that we will be using and giving it a different color so that the color changes when we are uh, updating our website from dark mode to light mode and vice versa so let's just save this again and now we can update all the CSS so for now we can let dark be um we can go to this and pretty much uncomment all this code so that you can see what it looks like without with the css and once we're done with this i can save it and you can see the css so over here now we have a bullet point and that is because of li before and if I comment this out, save it, you can see that it's gone. So, um, this is what the website will look like. And once we have dark mode, all the, col uh, all the, all the variables that we have will switch to this. And that is how we will be triggering our dark mode. So even now the button does nothing. So let's just uncomment the dark class, save it. And you see it still doesn't do anything. And selection that I have over here is basically what the color will look like when I select the text, like I said earlier. 
and now we can go into script and start typing our code out so first we will have to call the body uh, body from the html so it will let's give it a variable called doc and say doc equals document dot body since we will be using the entire body of the code and then let's call the trigger which is the on button over here so let let's call it trig equal document dot so we will be using get element by id and getting it using this id over here which is trigger so let's just copy that out and in the brackets add trigger save this and now let's give it a function so um trig so we are calling the function trigger and dot on click equals and now we give it a function so every time we click it it will run this function so function bracket and in the curly braces we will have our function so doc so to the body we um i'm pretty sure it's called add, add class or class list class list dot okay so we will be using class list dot trigger so that every time um we click on it the button uh, triggers it so what trigger does is if it's on it turns it off and if it's off it turns it on and that's what we will be using so trigger um excuse me i meant toggle so toggle and then we give it the class dark so what toggle does like i explained earlier is when i turn it off or when I click it, it applies the dark class to it. And when I turn it off, it gets it off. So as you can see right now, the button, it just says on. So we'll have to update as, that as well. And to do that, I'll be adding another function right now. And before that, we can look at the CSS and in dark mode, as you can see, um, the primary color, which was a dark green over here has turned to, um, a lighter shade of green which I call pry color over here and since I've given both in both places the variables the same name it updates it automatically and this is the simplest way to apply dark mode to your website and the next thing that I can do is create a function called um let's say up update um name and within this function, we can um, say uh, if um, doc dot class list dot contains dark. So we are checking if dark mode is activated in this website. So every time um it's activated uh what it should do is add curly braces and um within this we say trig dot value so so we call the button over here that's trigger and give it a value of off so let's see if that runs now reload the page or it should already be reloaded um Oh, okay. So, uh, what I forgot to do is copy this and add this to the function. And then as you can see, it says off now, but then it stays on off. So for that, what we do is add else. Let's just copy what we have in line number 11 and over here we add on. And now that we've saved it, let's reload the page and check this out. And 
this should work consistently so that is how you have a most basic dark mode website and that is it for this video thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure you like and subscribe and to keep up with the content follow us on our social media